Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Uh, so here we are. I just loaded the game. I apparently must have advanced the game one day because um, we just got three goddamn uh, things. Anyway, our plan, as you guys well know, is to crush Spain. The problem I'm trying to figure out is where the heck is the rest of my army? This army, this this is an 838. Okay, this is where the rest of my army is. They're literally right here. Uh, this army is going to come up here. Apparently, somebody is no longer a valid rival for us, so we need a new rival. Um, I don't want to rival Venice. I can't rival France. All right, we'll rival Ming. That's fine. They're, they're all the way the fucking over there. I don't give a shit about that. Reputation sabotaged. Anyway, yeah, so what we want to do is probably get into a war here. The Eng Oh, I forgot the English are their best goddamn friends now. France would come in on their side. These guys want to become my bestest friends. Um... Is, is Portugal no longer a valid rival for us? Did we forget, by the way, to... Oh my god, Ming's huge. Uh, let's... Issue an embargo against them. Who is my other rival? Persia. Need to issue an embargo against these guys. So we're going to go to war with Castile... Uh, I really wanted to go to war with Castile this way, so I could also go to war with Portugal. Who are the Portuguese allies? France, Aragon, and Castile. Who are the Castilian allies? Castile, Portugal, and Savoy. We need these to recoup anyway, but... These are just 20,000 dudes. They are just 20,000 dudes just chilling there. All right, you. Are we ready for uh, being able to declare war on these guys yet? The answer is no. Let's, um... Okay, Ming is apparently no longer a valid rival for me. God damn it. Sure, we'll go... We'll, Ayutthaya will be our new rival. Oh, the Medribari separatists are getting ready to uprise. Where the fuck is Medribari again? Medribari separatists. There, it's Axum and Mendefera. That's a problem. Um, it's a problem because my army is so far away. Mendefera. Okay, well, come on down here. 1.9 and 1.9. We actually should be able to lower this down to zero before we get this war started. My great advisor just died. Literally everything is just going horrible for me at this moment. Sure, we'll make trade efficiency better. Using a buttload of money, mainly because we're recouping our expenses. These guys are no longer our rivals. But yeah, the real question is, what happens if we went to war with Aragon? I realize I don't have any... Uh, so Morocco would not come in a war against Aragon because they have a truce with Aragon. When does your fucking truce end? Truce with France until 1683. Oh, their, war's gonna, their truce is going to expire in two years. Alright, so maybe I'll use Aragon as my jumping off point here. Um, what I should be doing is... Um... I already have an embargo there. Let's revoke this embargo. Who do I not have an embargo with? Embargoing Persia. Who's my other... Oh, I don't have an embargo with Mos Moscow. All right. That's who I'm not embargoing. There we go. And then um, the other one was Ayutthaya, which is over here. So 
surprised that Ayutai is a valid rival, but uh, Ming is not. That does kind of surprise me a bit. Boom. All right. Things all issued. What's the ETA on this thing now? So Axum's down to zero. So once you get down here, you'll be fine. We can, of course, build things. I don't really know what... If it even makes sense to build anything anymore, but... But sure, why the fudge not? Why the fudge not? Just seeing if anything's gonna make us any money. You two will make me money. You'll make me money. Production. You two will make me money. Alright, that's fine. You can stop force marching now. How is Aragon doing? Aragon still holds Italy, which is fascinating. Uh, so what I need to do, though, is start building a spy network, because I'm probably going to need to grab their shiz. Oh, just lost 40 gold for absolutely no reason. This is collapsing. Ethiopian separatists are too many places, which is just a general problem. Oh, our colony just became self-sustaining. That is fantastic. Um, we'll get Ilikos here. You can just come on over and take care of these guys. Boom. Goodbye. Now you, my friend... Did we get Military Tech 22? We did. Alright, good. God damn it! Alright guys, sorry I, I clicked off the screen. Um, but things are still going fine. Just gotta figure out what the fuck we're gonna do with Aragon here. So you can declare war... 1683, the 13 colonies, are they independent? No. They are not. I wish I could declare war just directly on these guys. But Portugal, Aragon, and Castilla would all come in on that war. We basically have to go to war with Aragon, and the reason we have to go with to war with Aragon is that will allow us to... That will clearly allow us to break this alliance here that we want to break. 1683, okay. Oh, come on, you're... Oh, that's a stupid war. Has this gone down to zero? One of these has gone down to zero. Let's go lower this uh, coasty... Kaffa. Kaffa separatists is just Kaffa. Alright, let's take care of Kaffa and separatists. Coptic, Cetris, Isisar, and Asosa, which is the one I'm assuming I am converting. I am, and this is not making any progress, so we should just stop that shit. Oh, it's because we're at minus one um, piety. That's fascinating. But that should get rid of the Coptic re rebels. Yep. What the fuck was this? Oh, Ethiopian re rebels have risen up. Even though they weren't clearly near the right target. I guess that's how the game works now. Is if they're like close enough they rise up. So yeah, the ones that we would like to... Zela and Hergesa would be the next ones to, to go after. Okay, you come on in. Yep, they they succeeded. Okay, you stop. Now we bring both sides in. We are going to have the crossing penalty. Because the lower army is going to get there first. Fucking rebels. So Soba, Zela. Both of these are pretty far off. 
Um, Zayla. Where's Zayla? Zayla's over there. All right. So bigger army. You go on down to Zayla. And her Gesa. Where is Amber Gesa? It's over here. All right. I really have to upgrade these texts, unfortunately. Even though I'd really like to get that better relations over time uh, improvement, I really just have to get those texts upgraded. Okay, you come here, you come there, and then we're gonna come up here and get this war started. We need to get this war started um, as soon as France is willing to join. I mean, the main problem is, is that they're in this other war that they're kicking ass in, and hopefully they'll just end soon. Okay, so this hopefully will go to zero. My legitimacy is too low. Who do I have? Did I ever get a royal marriage with you? I did. We had a royal marriage at one point. Do we have a royal marriage? We do. I just need to make a royal marriage with somebody here. Am I allied with Molly? Are we allies? We are allies. Um, you can have enough royal ties, actually. I don't need to get a, another set of royal ties. So you're at zero. You're at 0 0.7, which means what I want to do is separate out probably two units of infantry and bring them over here. That probably should drop this to zero, I'm guessing. And we're still paused. And then I'm, I'm, we'll swing by Soba on the way in. Zero point one. Once we tick up one month, this will go to zero, and this will collapse, and that will be good. Did this colony ever form? Not yet. Okay, so this should be going down now. Come on. Soba has made the most goddamn progress I've ever seen. Where is Soba again? It's up here. We're going to gain PAD this time because I do want to be able to convert pro provinces. Now apparently we can no longer... Persia is no longer a valid rival for me, apparently. Who the fuck's going to be our rival now? Well, I guess it's the Ottomans. They rivaled me, so... So we'll issue an embargo against them once the opportunity arises. Come on. Come on. There we go. Is this at zero yet? It will be in the next month. So these guys will stop in uh, Soba. Come on, tick. There we go. So you go to Soba. You come home, and we're getting we're gonna get this war started ASAP. Excellent. Now, if I declared war on you, France would not come in. They, wait, they have a truce with Aragon? Oh, till December. All right. Um, I should be able to fabricate a claim on something though, right? Um, do I want to fabricate a claim on Malta? Cagliari? Let's do Malta. Actually, let's do the Belaris. Alright. That will give me a reason to go to war with Aragon. Which should be pretty good. And then once we get, uh... Soba here taken care of, we should be in a pretty good spot to try to get this war started. How old is my leader? We, that's not me. I was like, we have a regency council? No. He's 63. He's gonna fucking die soon. He's gonna give us just instability. Which won't make me happy. So you're ticking down, which is good. You come here, initiate force march, and get your ass over here. Now, back to the question at hand. If I declared war on these guys, would France come in? And the answer is no, because France is 1,621 in debt. 
If I declared war on Spain, France would be willing to come in and... Oh, and sweet, sweet Jesus. Um, those other guys aren't here anymore. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do this while the opportunity's ripe. Those other, by those other guys, I mean the, um... Where's these boats? Boats. Sail over here and get these 7,000 men. By those other guys, I mean uh, England is no longer part of their alliance. And I really want to be able to, to make that work. 30%. Medribari Separatists. God damn, I, I just got you to zero and you're back up to 7.6. Part of that has to be these dicks. Apparently my intolerance is relatively high. Upping this would be good. This gives me, wait, does this just causes my ideas to be cheaper? My neighbor bonuses to be reduced? All right, let's do it. Or is that when I build that, they will come? You need 30 development points. All right. Well, let's spend the uh, relative points that we have. Okay, cool. Where the heck is this great mosque? Oh. Oops. Build it. <laughs> Didn't need to actually spend all those development points, but whatever. Because I can build great mosques in places. Not clear how many places it makes sense to build it at. Some places clearly make sense. Other places do not. Most places do not make sense to build it. But a few places, it does make sense. Alright, that was a lot of money we just spent, though, so... That's fine. Are you at zero yet, Elodians? Um... Sure. Doesn't really matter which of those I pick. Six years. We're gonna be in the middle of this war in six years. What's the next idea I get here? Better relations over time. Tolerance of heathens, which is not tolerance of heretics, actually, unfortunately. But, all right. Next month, on the 30th, you're coming down because we need to get this war started and it's gonna be glorious. Okay, come on down. Oh, we just got money too, sweet. Come on over here. Did these boats arrive? Where the fuck are those boats? We're bringing these 7,000 men in so that they can help fight uh, Castile. I don't actually know how many men Castile has, but I really want to get this war started before um, France is unwilling to join. If we can get France in on this war, we're going to be in a really, really good situation. Probably going to have to put all our boats at home. The boats in the Mediterranean, though, at home, which is going to suck. Come on down here, my friends. Bring your 7,000 men with you. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is, yes, go home, and in the event of war, you can probably stay sailing for now. Once France maybe wins the naval war, we'll be fine. But we're getting this shit started, guys. This, we're starting this shit before this episode ends, in case you're wondering. Recruitment sabotage? Ayutaya? France, what do you think of me? You still love me. Where the heck are the rest of your troops? You have 62,000 men up there. Alright. We're so goddamn close here. We're gonna call everybody in on this war. This is going to be the war, guys. 
not happy that we're not friends with the Ottomans anymore, but I am happy that we're friends with France, so that's okay. Our great advisor, our great organizer has died. Let's get morale bonus for the army. Our great organizer, was that giving us a, um, it was giving us a minor force limit modifier bonus, I think. So it's good that we stopped exactly where we did. Okay, you're you're basically here. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to start this war. Where is our fleet? Fleet sees where you at? Who is this? That's Ternati. Who is this? Those, these are actual people. Okay. Fleet, where you at? You're almost here. All right, cool. I'm being super cautious on, on purpose, guys. This I'm not. I'm not trying to be like slow roll this. What, what trade goods do you have on this island? A lot of slaves. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not purposely trying to slow roll here, guys. I'm just trying to uh, make sure that when I start this war, which we're going to do literally right now, everything's in place. All right, diplomacy, declare war. France, I will give you territory. Bring everybody in. I'm going to take Mercia. Twenty five percent aggressive expansion cost. Fifty percent cost for the conquest of Mercia. Wait, that's even better, right? This just makes everything cheaper. Yeah, let's do the colonialism CB. All right, guys, we started the war. We're going to end the episode here, but the war is started. France, wait, we're going to give it a day. France has joined the war. Portugal has joined the war. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Current wars, Tunis, Carthage, Egypt 2.0. It's also hot here. France, French, Canada, Morocco, and Mali. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. The war is on, my friends. The war is is on and it, it is going to be a war uh with that all being said i thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you all next time